क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन इन ए पी एन डायोड विद द इंक्रीज रिवर्स बायर्स द रिवर्स करंट विल बी डैश इंक्रीज डिक्रीज रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट अनसर्टन सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन क्वाइट सिंपल इट हार्डली टेक्स टेन टू फिफ्टीन सेकेंड टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यू नो द वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन डायोड फाइन इफ यू नो इफ यू डोंट नो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स जस्ट ट्राई टू रिकलेक्ट सो दिस आर द वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन डायोड वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फाइन सो यू यू मैट हैव ऑलरेडी नोन द पी एन जंक्शन डायोड इट्स एन एन पी डायोड यू कैन टेक पी एन जंक्शन डायोड इवन इट्स एन एनोड इट्स अ पी टाइप इट्स एन एन टाइप दिस दिस विल एक्ट एज एन एनोड दिस विल एक्ट एज कैथोड सो कन्वेंशनल करंट डायरेक्शन इज दिस वे ओके दिस आर नॉट नीडेड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन जस्ट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग नाउ लेट एस सी द वी आई कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इनिशियली दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल डायोड हैव कंसिडर प्रैक्टिकल डायोड आई हैव कंसिडर एंड आई हैव टेकन द वैल्यूज अकॉर्डिंगली फाइन सो इनिशियली वेन यू गिव स्मॉल वोल्टेज देर विल बी ए लिटिल करेंट स्मॉल करेंट ओके सो देर विल बी स्मॉल करेंट आफ्टर सर्टन पॉइंट कॉल्ड कट इन वोल्टेज कट इन वोल्टेज वी गामा then the diode starts actual conduction means the current will increase almost linearly from this point for germanium it is 0.3 for silicon it is 0.7 these are the forward bias characteristics of pn junction diode the one which are in the first quadrant the one which are in the third quadrant represents the reverse bias characteristics of pn junction diode you can see during reverse bias the current remains almost constant this current will call it as reverse saturation current i see not or some people will call i not so this is called sorry call this as i not not i see not that is in transistors i not this is called reverse saturation current or ir reverse saturation current this current will not increase even though if you give say if it is 1 volt minus 1 volt still the current is i not if you give minus 5 volt still it is i, I not if you give minus 10 volts still it is i not until if you give say, say somebody is giving some minus 15 volts that is a breakdown voltage it it, it is given in the data sheet of the uh, diode that don't apply plus beyond plus 15 or minus 15 or so that the diode will get damaged if you apply beyond minus 15 this is just a typical example it need not be 15 so if you apply beyond minus 15 the diode will damage this is called breakdown condition so this this region from this point to this point i'll show you yeah from this point to this point it is called reverse bias operation this straight line indicates breakdown condition this reverse current generally is minus 50 amperes it is given it is a typical value need not remember you can see that during reverse bias the current is constant throughout that is nothing but reverse saturation current so that is a point you need to remember during forward bias the current is linear i mean the vi characteristics are linear means if voltage increases current will increase here even though if the voltage increase current will remains constant so let us see the options so in a pn diode with increase in reverse bias reverse bias means reverse voltage the reverse current what happens will it increase no will it decrease no will it become uncertain no uncertain in the sense it's like breakdown will it remain constant yes it remains constant so the right choice is option c now let us see the extension of pn junction diode the extension you can see this may be as this here okay so which type of material will have fastest breakdown fastest cut in voltage all those things let us learn okay so these are the vi characteristics of various materials germanium will have least cut in voltage then comes silicon 0.7 then comes gallium arsenic which has a cut in voltage of 1.2 highest remember so this will this will uh, react quickly this is like quick then next quick then this is the slowest one because after 1.2 volts if you give then only it, it starts producing some current to your circuit then let us see the reverse bias voltage reverse bias characteristics so these are the forward bias characteristics during reverse bias exact opposite i mean opposite way the waveform will look first it comes gallium arsenic then silicon then germanium in the sense gallium arsenic will give least current least current this is like 
food i don't prefer gallium arsenic i won't prefer because it is giving less current in reverse bias that is one one uh, one disadvantage disadvantage and one more disadvantage is after 1.2 volts it gives forward current both are disadvantages what my my requirement or my efficiency will be when i get current with less voltage or when i get current quickly that is the advantage which i am uh, which i am preferring okay so silicon it's like moderate it gives 10 picofarad uh, uh, reverse current it has good reverse current okay fine then germanium it has one microampere so this is a better one so in this way you can choose the priorities germanium silicon and gallium arsenic fine so try to memorize this graph also you may get this year isro question okay so not only reading previous year questions you need to see its extensions because lots of questions from isro are repeated from previous year concepts and models and some of uh, sometimes they are directly without changing options they are giving the questions so try to learn the previous year questions thank you